Skipping gently on to our next programme, it's time for a spot of the bouche and another insight into what working life is like at Fossil World. But who's this Hitcher fellow? Come with us now on a journey through time and space. To the world of the mighty bouche. So bored. Nothing ever happens at this zoo. Oh, Howard, what was that noise? There was no noise. There was a noise. Stop distracting me. I'm not distracting you. I heard I'm a noise. To read. It sounded Stop like... making up stuff. It sounded like a woman yeah. screaming. She might have well, been in peril. Stop it. You keep doing this. Yesterday it sounded like an old man falling into a trunk. Can you stop it? Okay, I'm trying to read. Let me alone. All right. Howard? 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 Howard. It's better be good. It is good. What? You know the black bits in bananas? Are they tarantula's eggs? Don't talk to me anymore. Just let me read, please. All right. What are you reading? I'm reading about ancient Greece. About all the heroes that they had there. Why do you read that old school Striding rubbish? about manfully, solving problems, riddles. Why you know, do you read Great that? times. What? Why do you read that stuff? Because it, you know, inspires me. It's a bit like me. They were real men there, problem solvers, leaders, like myself, you know? Have you read Charlie Goes Abroad? No, I don't read that sort of stuff. Have you read Charlie Takes Time Off? Is that more in the series? There's Charlie's Adventures? There's hundreds of them, yeah. Charlie it? buys a flamingo. Mm -hmm. Charlie gets to the shops and realises he's lost his little p purse. Charlie chokes on his own legs. Is that one? I've not read That's that one. That's the final one in the series. Is it? Yeah. Have you read Charlie's lips look bigger than they are in the mirror? I've read. Have you read Charlie really... No, I haven't. Shut up about him. Combs all the hair I don't the care ball. about Charlie. I want to read about real people, okay? Right. Real people. You know, people like Aeschylus, Charlie's Pythagoras. Charlie's you know, real. People who knew how to lead, who to solve things. You know, like... Charlie solved. Charlie Have solved... Have you read Charlie, Charlie solved? Charlie solved nothing. Charlie solved some stuff. Charlie solved the riddle yeah. of his own existence. Charlie solves a really difficult puzzle. Look, I don't want to talk about Charlie anymore, OK? I'm trying to read, OK? Get some inspiration. All right. Because I'm not, I'm not really getting it from you, you know? I'm in with the wrong crowd here. You, you just talk about Charlie most of the time, yeah? Fossil shouts at me. I'm a leader of men. I'm trapped here. I need, I need to get out of here and find a place where I'm respected. You know, seen as the true leader that I am, you know. Somewhere there's a place for me, Vin. Somewhere. Somewhere there's a place oh, for me. Is that you? Oh, hello, Mr. Fossil. Yeah, was that you singing over there? Um, yeah. 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 I could tell because my neck was bleeding. Well, it's my lunch break. I'll sing if I like. Yeah, lunch break, lunch break. Oh, hey, Vince. Hey, how's it going, Mr. Fossil? Yeah, it's going like good. Well, thanks. I uh, combed it and I turned it around three degrees. Looks like a small dog. Yeah, enough comments from you, Mr. What's that in your hand? It's a book. Oh, a book? Yeah. Oh. What? Wh what are you doing with that book? Reading it. How many times do I have to tell you? Reading leads to pure liquid evil. It makes you smoke things. Look, I want to read. It's up to me, okay, if I oh. want to read. Yeah, like you've got free will. Hey, Vince, what's that in your hand? Charlie Goes Abroad. I love that book. It's brilliant, isn't it? Charlie goes... Did you read Charlie Takes a Leak on his computer? Oh, it's my favourite. I have love you read that one. It Charlie fritzes in, out. Have you read Charlie in the Maroon Capes? Well, I did one time, and then I forgot about it, and then I loved it again. Ah, oh, what a book that I thought is. you didn't read, uh, Mr. Fossil. My mom read to me in the shower, okay? Now, I got a job for you guys. It has to do with Tony the Prawn. Okay, what's he done now? Well, as you know, Tony the Prawn is a psychological killer. Yeah. He's wiped out the whole aquarium in the past two days. What? Yeah. I want you to transport Tony out of here. Where are we taking him? Yeah, we're taking him to my brother's zoo. He's got one of these zoos for animal offenders, you know? He's got, like, a rapist crab. He's got a mackerel that exposes himself. He's got a baboon that walks in the lifts and presses all the floors. 
He's got a swan that keys cars. You know, these are bad animals. Right, okay, yeah. 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 So I put Tony in the Jeep, right? Okay. But get there by 4 o'clock. You see, the guy's very anal. All right. Not like you. Not like me. I'm clean. You can rely on us. Well, you better. And remember, don't put any Marmite on the seats again, Vince. I remember that. That weren't me. Well, all right. Well, have fun. I mean, don't! And get there on time! Oh, this is great fun. Yep. What are you wearing? What? Why? Whenever we go anywhere, you get dressed up like a hula girl. What is this? This You shouldn't wear long flowing scarves and fast moving vehicles. Do you know that? What are you on about? Are you aware of Isadora is... Duncan? No, this is a stylish scarf. Have you heard of Isadora Duncan? Never. Ballet heard dancer? I don't know dancer. about her. You see, you should, you should read more. Who you know about she? Isadora? She's a ballet dancer. She used to dance uh, in the 1910s. Yeah, she, was, she used to dance really? herself silly. She was great. She was a toast of to the town. One, uh, one day she was uh, doing a press call, you know, she was down there. Um, with her car up on top, there she was waving to the cameras. You know, this long, flowing scarf got caught in the wheel of the car. <laughs> Head came clean off. No way. Oh, yeah. What happened? Well, she never danced again. How's Tony doing? He's all right. Is he? You sure? Yeah. Don't look in his eyes. I'm not. He's got his patches on. All right. I made them out of the spare bits of fingerless gloves. Nice. He's all right. He's all in there, strapped down. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I've been a bit excited actually because uh, it's great, isn't it, to get out of the zoo every now yeah, and then? Yeah, yeah. Actually, I got a bit. I went a bit crazy. Started making tapes for the journey. Oh no, no, please. What? No, come on, oh, no, come on. no, Vince, no. What? Not Gary Newman, please. Oh, Gary's come a on, shiny I'm, boy. I'm driving, okay. I want some of my music. Oh. Okay, let's have some jazz. I mean, you're not a Jack Cousteau again. John Coltrane. Whoever. Yeah. Okay. Check this out. All right. Check honestly. Check this out. This will change your mind about the way you think about jazz. Here you go. You ready? Okay. Huh? Mm -hmm. Check this bit. Right. Let's check this bit. Okay. Right. It's coming up. It's coming up. Right. You ready? Oh. Actually, it's not that bit. Hang on. It's coming up. 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 Hey. Actually, just a minute. Hang on. No, right. Hang on. It's coming. It's coming now. Here we. Here we go. It's coming up. You ready? You ready? I am the king of the zoo, zoo, zoo. <laughs> hey, Mr. Ocelot, have a cupcake. Hey, Mr. Gorilla, it's a special day today. Why don't you cut loose? You want to be with the raccoons? Huh? Yeah, have some fun. Let genetics go wild. That's the way nature intended it. Huh? Go ape. <laughs> That's pretty good, huh? I should do stand-up. Hey, I'm Bob Fossil. I'll be here all week. Huh? <laughs> I am the king of the zoo zoo. It's coming up. It's coming up. It's coming up. It's coming up. Hang on. It's coming. It's coming now. Here we go. Here we go. It's coming up. You ready? Hey, what do we do? Do we do? Do we do? Do Hey, now what? What we do? You like that? That's the way. Do we do? Do we do? I bet he knew he had something. Old Jack Cousteau when he wrote that. That he phoned all his mates and went, "Listen, this. Do we do? Do we do? Bet some of them got it." That's not what happens. What? Okay, jazz burns bright like a flame, then it dies. Really? You don't hold on to the moment, jazz. Oh, right. You let it go, you know? Mm. Like a ball of light, okay. like a fog of sound, oh, like, a, like the rain in June falling. Yeah. Jazz is, jazz was, jazz be, be bop, bop, mm. chicka chicka, wah wah wah. Vince, wake up. Vince, what? What? wake up. Oh. You've got to keep me awake. You're the navigator, okay? I'm driving. You've got to keep me awake, okay? Right. Ow! Well, not when I'm showing signs of fatigue, okay? Oh, sorry. <laughs> don't just slap me out of nowhere, okay? Sorry, when you're showing signs of fatigue. Okay, okay. What, like when you got your pajamas on? Yes. And your nightcap? Yes. Okay. okay. Have you ever fallen asleep at the wheel, Howard? No. I've woken up at the wheel. Do <laughs> <laughs> so you like what I did there? Oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. Mm. I love that sort of mm. Hey, Howard, right? I fell asleep at the wheel. Did you? Yeah. What happened? Uh, well, luckily, the large galleon I was aboard just went round in circles. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, that's yeah, fantastic. a good one. So you used to drive a galleon, yeah? That's a joke. I know, I was joking on your joke. Oh, oh what, the, piling up the jokes. The Jenga joke. Look at you. Come on. <laughs> this is brilliant. Oh, yeah. Anyway, I've got to sleep now. No. What? Stop. Can't you just keep awake for a minute? Oh, Tell God. me a story or something. Come on. A story? Tell me a story. About what? Do a story. You're good at, you know, about when you were growing up in the jungles of India. Come on. When I was growing up in the jungles of yeah, India? Yeah, tell me all about it. I've told you all those I stories. I know, but I'd like to hear them again. Come on. Okay. Well, 
as you know I was raised in the jungles of India by mm. Brian Ferry yeah. and uh, it was a great existence but he would go on tour a lot so I would you know, be left with various animals and I remember one time it was really weird because I was left with uh, Kelune oh, yeah. leopard and uh, it was brilliant I lived in a tree for a week and I, was, I remember there one day I was lying on his soft spotted belly and it was pulsating in the afternoon sun and I was drifting off into one of the most intense sleeps that I've ever had it was fantastic just as my heavy lids were shutting old Kalino came up to me Kalino Kalino I like this guy yeah the cobra yeah yeah the wise old cobra he's good isn't with he? his rotting face mm. he came up to me and he went oh, oh, oh you yeah he came up and went no oh, you must never sleep oh you must never sleep like, what are you on about I'm really tired can mm. you go away Kalino I haven't got time for this he went oh let me tell you if you sleep the monkey folk will steal your face he was reckoning oh, the monkeys no. are going to steal my face because yeah, yeah. they you know monkeys are obsessed with men and they think to be a true leader you know to be a king of monkeys you need a man's face but they were going to cut my face off while i was asleep <laughs> oh, oh, anyway no. i fell asleep no yeah no way I, I know oh you idiot yeah oh no well <laughs> oh what happened next oh that's another story for another time what that's another story for another Who are journey you? What? Dealing out stories in chunks. You've Johnny's had, segment. You've Come had on. Your, you've had your fill. I gauge when I have my own fill of stories, okay? I know my story capacity and I haven't had enough yet. Come on. Look. Give I'm, me more. I'm tired. Give me the ending. Listen, I'm the storyteller and the storyteller must sleep now. No, you don't. This, that's, that's no way to do, finish a story. What? You can't just leave people dangling, get them all juiced up, and then leave them dangling in that, midair. That's my style. What, the dangler? Yes. That's no good. Juicy dangler. When I... He juices you, him when, and then he's gone. When I finish my novel, okay, it's going to have... It's not going to... You're gonna a novel? Like that. I'm going to... It's going to go... What a novel? I'm a novelist. I thought you were a poet. I do many things, okay? I span the genres. Novelist, poet, I organise raffles, I do it all. Come on. You know me. I can't be put in one particular pigeonhole. I span the genres, you know? You put me in a box, you can't put me in a box. If you do, I'll use the box against you. You know, I convert the box into a studio stroke loft space, put on an exhibition, you know. That's the kind of way Listen, I work. I've never seen you write in a novel ever. That's because whenever you're around, I can't write. So you're getting in my mind, rummaging about, putting on fancy dress shows. I'm trying to do some thinking and you're trampling on my little delicate thoughts. What? It's me that... What? Yeah, we're well, talking Gary Newman your stem. Yes, that's me. You're stemming my flow. Stemming your flow? You stem my flow. I thought it'd be my fault. Yeah. So you're a boulder in my stream. Basically, I'm stemming your flow. Yeah. That's why you're... That's right. Thing. Yeah. I thought it's because you were useless at writing. Get out of the car. What? Get out of the car. Well, I will. Get out. I'm getting out. See you later. Yeah, see you around. Bye. No, Howard, wait! Howard, no! I'll oh, come back, please, Howard! Ah, you see, you couldn't go, could you? You couldn't leave me. You tried to walk away and you couldn't even go. Yeah, my scarf's caught in the wheel. Right. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, see you later. Bye. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the comic stylings of Bob Fossil. Hey everybody, great to see you. Uh, you're kind of an ugly audience though. It looks like a few of you could use some rhinoplasty. You get it? Rhino? Uh, you know, like the animal, you baboon. Alright, so listen, I was walking in front of this cheetah one day, and the cheetah was so fast, it wound up behind me. What are you on about? It's a fast cheetah use. Stupid jerk. Listen, uh, what, is it hot in here, or is it just me? Now that stuff kills in the Bronx Zoo. Mate, even the hyenas have stopped laughing. All right, that does it. I don't have any of those uh, verbal witty comebacks, but I do have this herd of wildebeest over here, and I got this starter pistol. Yeah? How do you like that? It's what I call a stampede comeback. Yeah. Listen, guys, you've been a great crowd. I'll be here all week. Ah, this is more like it. A man alone with his dreams. This is what I had in mind, a journey where I can think some ideas together. Here we go. Christ, I'm bored. Oh, hang on. There's an hitchhiker. Brilliant. I'll pick him up. That's it. He'll have some stories. Inspiration for my novel. All right, mate. 
Pop in, yeah, there you go, make yourself uh, comfy. Howard Moon is the name. Here you go. <laughs> so, uh, friend, <laughs> you, uh, you going far? You, you live around here, do you? Well, not obviously not in the woods. It'd be a bit weird if you lived in the, <coughs> in the woods. So, um, what's in the what's in the box there? Hmm? What's that? Travel sweets? <laughs> travel sweets? <laughs> That's one of mine. Thanks. A big box like that. And tiny travel sweets. See you. Should we have some music? Uh, shall we? Uh, to ease the tension. <laughs> yeah. Too much music in the world. Um, what was what you do then? You're an actor or something? Is that your... Oh, no, I figure two of that for fooling my boy. Oh, no, I figure two of that for fooling up and tell ya. Oh, long time ago now, I was in a beautiful love story. All set on the stage. And I was all dressed up like a dazzling young lady. And I worked extensively with a Japanese gentleman. We used to bind his head up with a club. But with body language alone, he could still reduce an audience to weeping. Ah, oh, a remarkable actor. A remarkable love story about a man dressed up as a lady and another geezer with all fabric on his head. Oh, yeah, the audience would laugh. And we, yeah, the audience would cry. And we, yeah, the audience would think, I've seen something there. I've seen something good there because I came here last week and it was shit last week. Ah, oh, it was useless last week. It's just an old lady with big fleshy pearl and swollen arms smacking a woodpecker about the stage with an oar. What the hell was that all about? But this week, the geezer with a cloth on his head, oh, he was remarkable. That was a tour de force, that show. I tell you, we get 13 encores every night. Oh, and on the last encore, I'd drag him out centre stage. I'd put him in front of the audience and I'd tear off that cloth. To reveal the hideous, deformed face of an otter. Oh, his head was revolving. It was a broken butcher's meat. It was like a knick-knack left out in the rain. Oh, it made me want to be sick on my own feet. But I love that boy. I love that boy. Don't get me wrong. Oh, I love what he can do with his acting style, even when he camouflages his own features. Oh, why did I have to cut him off in his prime? Why did I have to leave him alone in that black ditch? It don't matter. Now. It's all by the by, because I've got my box. I've got my box now. Anywhere here? No? Okay, so... Uh... <clears throat> quite a story you got there. <laughs> yeah, it's quite, quite a good one that. What's uh, what's in the box actually? What is that? Is you want to see my box? Well, I mean, only if you want to. You want to see my box, my boy? Um, actually, I'm deciding against. I think you want to see my box. I'm all right, box. actually. I'm fine. Go. I think you do. No. I think the curiosity's got the better here. Yeah. I think you want to have a gander in here, don't you? In a box by a cop, me not job, have a cup of tea, have a cup of tea, I'm the hitcher. Let me put you in the picture, creeping in your room in the dead of night with Miss Olo Polo Vision. I'm a cop, me geezer, watch me bleed you. I do the ripper when he watches the nipper. I tore him out a slice, I cut him up a tree. Banja banana, banja banana, banja banana, banja banana, banja banana. Strong like a freak show nightmare Dancing skeletons, white, blue and yellow ones Moving through the shadows with the speed of a cat And if you cross us, we'll cut ya I'm like bad juju, I use Buddha if I choose to I harness the forces of evil to abuse you With power, Apollo, an evil magnet You're sucking up your soul, and you ain't gonna like that Hello, Bob Fossil's uh, Fun World at Comedy Emporium Hello, Robert Oh, Wilbur, how's the prawn? Ron isn't here, Robert. What? They should be there by now. They're late, Robert. You know how I feel about lateness, Robert. Yeah, yeah, I know. I was born a minute later than you. One minute, twenty seconds, Robert. Must you always remind me of this? God, you're rain off. If I don't get this prawn in one hour, Robert, I'm going to tell Mother our little secret. No, don't tell Mommy the secret. I'll find those guys and get the prawn. I'm going to tell her that you're alive, Robert. No. No. That you didn't die in Vietnam. No. 
She thinks I died a war hero. Christ, don't make me have to visit her. Just make sure they show up, Robert. Don't worry. Look, I'll get them there. I'll do it myself. Just don't tell mommy. Tick tock, Robert. Tick tock. Hello? Hello? Oh, Vince! Hey, what are you doing here? Oh, wow! What? How did you get here? I don't know. It's a bit weird. You know when you kicked me out of the car? Yeah, sorry about that. That's all right, the man. Anyway, I was walking along, yeah, yeah, in the rain. Thanks for that. My sorry. hair went all over the No, shop. I'm sorry. And this filthy cockney came up to me, yeah? yeah? I know, I met him. Started waffling yeah, on. Yeah, I know. I gave him a lift. Yeah. Started going on about his Japanese boy child. What was that all about? Showed me his box. Is that absolutely Next thing I'm in here, trapped in a box. Yeah, trapped exactly. in a box. I can't believe it. I thought you couldn't be trapped in boxes. That was metaphorical. This is an actual box. How are we going to get out of here? I don't know, it's huge. I've been wandering around for hours. Yeah, me too. It's massive, this place. Never ending. I know. Check this out. Hello? 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 Wow. You have a go. Hello? Do it again. Hello? Uh, oh my god, I've got no echo. You're echoless. Oh no, this is weird. This box is so strange. Weird. Huh, Vince, what? Is someone coming? Don't freak me out. Shh. What? Shh. Shh. There's someone coming. We have been waiting for you. Who are you? We are the people of the box. We have been trapped in here for many centuries. It is written that you would come and set us free and be our leader. Hail our king! How would you hear that? Yeah, I know. You said king. I know. And leader. I knew. I knew in my heart there was a place for me, Vince. What? Somewhere there's a place. Somewhere there's a Not you, fool. The other one with the flowing scarf. Oh, right. Uh, right, um, yeah, and the thing is that, it's really nice of you actually, but I'm not really a king, I'm just a man. It is written that you would deny your role. Oh bugger. Howard, tell him. Um, look, people of the box, is, he's not a king. No if, way. If anyone's to be a king, surely it would be me, a man of action, a man who uh, knows about books, a man who uh, spans the genres. It is written that you would try and muscle in. A lot of things were written in this book, weren't they? Was it written that I would go like this? I'm a Chinese dancing horse, look at my hooves of cress. Page 11. Out of the way, freak. Oh, God. And now, King, you enjoying your new role as leader? It's not bad, yeah. I mean, I haven't done much yet, but I've got ideas. Good, because it is over. What? It is written that our kings lead for 1.9 minutes, and then they are killed immediately. What? No way. I would tell him. I'm afraid that it is written. Look, guys, hey, people of the box, whoa there. What are you trying to build here? Come on, easy. Is it written that an innocent man should die? Yes. Howard. Okay, okay, okay I will. Is it written that a man who had no knowledge of his crime, who... Who came here by no fault of his own should die for reasons unknown to him. Yes. Right. God. Okay. Yeah. Look. Come let on, me. Howard. Let me think. Let me think. Is it written that a man should die for a dream? Is it written that a man should die for nothing? Yes. But I did my best. There's nothing I could do, Vince. I'm sorry. What are we going to do? And now you must die. Along oh with your God. friend who sings so badly. No, no, please don't kill me. No, what are we going to do? I've got so much to give. Oh, no! I haven't finished my novel yet. I'm afraid that it is written. I don't want to die! Oh, God! I don't want to die! How are you strangling me? <laughs> sorry. That's so tired. Is it written that I'd show up? Fossil! And do this? Oh! Bob Fossil! Get did out. you check the index oh. under crotch punch oh. like this? Ooh! Oh, fossil. Oh, fossil. How about the bibliography oh. under this? Oh! I can't find this written down anywhere! Oh, wow. No, you can't. Because oh, wow. I'm freaking making this up as I go along. He doesn't obey the rules of the book! I bet karate chopping your nipples isn't there either. Oh! Get him, Whoa, Fossil! I surprised myself Stop! There. Stop! Who are you who would penetrate the fortress of the box and cause such chaos amongst our people? I'm a fossil! And my anger is colossal if you get in my way Then you will have to pay the price Which is not nice I'll slice you and dice you up And feed your liver to a barricade Sing it! Bob Fossil, he no smile Give him inches, take him out Tell him all about me Bob Fossil, king of zoo You 
know it. Lem Bob, ba 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 ba. I'm a sheep. I'm the king. I'm gonna fossil you up. You know my name. I smile sometimes when I'm getting you. I'm Bob Fossil. If you don't know my name, then you're lame. Shit, that was bad. Can we go again? That was no good. Cut the music. Come on. Is anybody listening to me? What are you guys singing for? Shut up. You suck balls. Is anyone listening to me? I gotta get you. You know, I gotta F you up. That F stands for fossil. Yeah. You'll be fossilized. They'll dig you up and have to carbon date your ass. I'm the king. I don't like kilometers. I'm king of the zoo, not king of zoo. Zoo. I'm gonna go zoo on you. I'm gonna put a CZ on your zoo head. Here he comes. Yes, Bobby Zoo. Bobby Zoo. Bobby Zoo. Bobby Zoo. Bobby Zoo. Are you listening to me out there? Because I know that someday you're going to run into me. Come on, Vince Howard, let's get out of here. Let's blow this pop stand. There is no way out of the box. Well, what about this door over here? No, you must not open the door. It is you written. You guys read too much. Haven't you ever heard of videos? No, it is forbidden. For through the door lies the ultimate evil. This is the way out, you idiots. <laughs> There's no evil out here. This is a freaking garden. Hello, Robert. Oh, Wilbur. Oh, hey. Uh, listen, I've got the prawn right here. Take it. It's too late for the prawn, Robert. What do you mean? You're late. By four minutes and 36 seconds. Oh, cripes, you're such an anal potato. I think it's time for a little family reunion, Robert. Hello, Bobby. Oh, my God. My the book job, was right. Bobby. It is the ultimate Bobby evil. Mother F. Everybody back in the box! Come with us tonight.